If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Leo, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for February 2017. This month I laid out the Rainbow Tarot spread for you using the Tarot Mucha deck which is a new tarot deck to me and I used these cards in the mid-month of January Psychic Tarot update and some people like these cards so I'm using them here in the February readings. Please remember these are general readings and to get messages that pertain specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Leo Sun, Leo Ascendant, and Leo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Leo, now on to your reading for February 2017. First card you have that shows up here, Leo, is the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man is a card to me that symbolizes being in limbo. You're in suspended animation. You're not moving forward. You're not moving backward. Uh, but you have to draw very strongly from your own psychic ability at the time the Hanged Man shows up. I feel some of you Leos are in a little bit of puzzlement about people that you're dealing with around you because I feel like they sway you one way then they sway you another and they put you in a bit of, of a pickle now or they they're putting themselves in the pickle by them swaying one way or the other that comes up here equally. I feel that you've actually tried to help these people in the past, like either with money or advice or, you know, free services or, you know, whatever, giving them things. I don't feel like they fully grasped it, that you did it, or they didn't fully appreciate or grasp what you, how you were trying to help them or what words of counsel or guidance that you gave them. I almost feel like it fell on deaf ears or it went in one ear and out the other. That's how it feels to me. Some of you are getting ready to travel. I get a big trip coming up for some of you. And for some of you, this is work. For some of you, it's promotional. If you have your own business or your own YouTube channel or you, uh, you know, sell online or, you know, whatever, sing, dance, create music, um, are in theater. You, some of you are going on a big trip that's promotional, like a promotional tour. Maybe you wrote a book and you're promoting it. Uh, but for some of you, it's just a big trip and it has nothing to do with that. So that's because there's a lot of Leos that are going to watch this. So not everything I say is going to make sense to all of you Leos out there. If you're a Leo that has a will, I feel that you are going to rewrite it or rewrite portions of it. And some of you, if you don't have a will yet, I feel you will be writing one because wills are coming up here in both regards. You know, I do get a sense from some of you Leos that you feel like you can't have people push you around in the way that they have or the way that they are or the way that they historically have. So you may be feeling like, you know what, I got too many people that are, you know, trying to manipulate me, push my buttons, control me, uh, cajole me, and that you, like, I just feel like you come to some conclusions. Like, I see it frazzling your nerves. Like, nah, I can't have this anymore. That's, that's the, like, the energy behind the words. 
<laughs> I feel Leos are in some situation that they're doing their damnedest to stay neutral. This could be a family squabble. It could be, or it could be a work issue. Could even be among friends. That if you have warring factions, you could be like, you know what? I'm Switzerland. I'm neutral. I'm not, but I feel like it's difficult. I don't feel like it's an easy thing for you to do to remain neutral. So that could be going on for many of you Leos in February. Now here you have, this is a good card. You have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is a card to me that symbolizes God giving you blessings of financial abundance and also could be financial stability. I feel some of you Leos are attaining some high goal or high honor in February or March because I get like maybe even in April. Some of the signs that's felt that way to me, February, March or April, you're getting that here with this. I feel like you're accumulating wealth. And your bank account is building up, really building up. And you may start to think about what you want to do with this money. You may invest it. You may put it in an IRA or some other kind of retirement fund. Maybe you're thinking, hmm, I'm going to invest in some real estate or, you know, stocks or bonds or, you know, put it, you know, give it to people in your family that need it. I don't know, but I just see your bank account swelling and that your wheels are going to start to turn and think about what you're going to do with it, which may be why I picked up wills, writing wills or altering your wills through the hanged man card. It could have to do with because your finances are increasing. I feel it's time for you to halt some kind of process of what you were doing and redo it or think it over. So if you were starting some business project, proposition, plan, it could even be in your own home. If you're a non-working Leo, it could be maybe you were thinking of renovating the house or redoing your bathroom or kitchen or had plans to do something. Whatever you have planned, I don't care whether you're working or not or own your own business or not, there's something Leos have been working on or getting ready to plan or planning. Uh, you may have already been doing it. You need to redo, stop. They're saying stop. And then revise it or redo it. Uh, change it, alter it, revise it, redo it. Uh, that's coming up here. <laughs> they use the word soiree. My guides are funny sometimes. They say old fashioned words. Um, I get that you're going to be invited to attend some soiree, some big gathering. This could be a fundraiser. Um, it could be a gala event where there's like dignitaries there or socialites there or elite there. Uh, I just get you. Some of you may feel like a fish out of water there. I'm not saying you're not up to it. I just feel like you could probably pull it off, Leo. Like even if you feel like, oh my God, why am I here? I don't, I don't fit in with these people. If you may feel that internally, you're going to be like, hmm, everything's fine. I'm the belle of the ball or the, you know, <laughs> gentleman of the ball, either one or the other. Uh, I do feel you're going to go. I'm not sure why they're bringing it up. You are going to have an interesting conversation with somebody that you meet there. It's going to help you with future goals and help you for your future of a direction you want to go in. So this is going to be a good networking opportunity for you, Leo. So I would attend that gathering. Okay, I'm sorry, Leo. Here's a card I don't like, but we do have to see why it's here. And I always go by what my guides say, not just what's on the card. You have Nine of Swords. And Nine of Swords to me is a card that symbolizes, this is like grieving the loss of a relationship. This can come up if you're heartbroken about, you know, a breakup of a love relationship or if someone, a close friend or near and dear to you, maybe somebody passed away and you're grieving that. This is a card that can mean you not feeling well. You worried about somebody else not feeling well. Uh, it can be sleepless nights, bad dreams. I mean, this card has a lot of different meanings. So let's see, why is it here for you? I feel like you've given all you have into something. And I feel that from it, you've become very tired, drained, 
and feeling like you've been run into the ground about it. Whatever this is, it could be your job. It could be your own business. It could be taking care of a, a you know, an elderly relative or some family member, whatever it is, you've poured all this energy into it. And I feel like it's drained you. Some of you do feel like you're in some kind of funk. And I see you thinking or saying like, ah, I got to get out of this funk that I'm in. I've got to get out of this. Like, I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling lethargic. I've got to get myself motivated. I've got to get out of this feeling. Like, but you know, for all of you Leos, it's going to be different as to what the influencer is as why, what's causing it. It's not going to be the same reason for all of you of why you have this sensation. You know, time is coming, Leo. Don't be surprised if you get called on by somebody to help them out of a jam. And it may be that you have to give them money, loan them money, bail them out of jail, uh, help them get out of an abusive relationship, let them come live with you, or help set them up in a place to live, or, you know, let them stay for a few months at your place. I mean, it, it could be anything. I just get you, you're going to have, somebody's going to call on you. I need your assistance. Maybe they're going to get a DUI. Maybe there's going to be spousal abuse I or drug abuse. It could be anything. They're, they're in need of something. And you are going to get called on to be like the savior to help them and to bail them out or, you know, give them aid or assistance. I, I picked that up here too. Some of you Leos, this isn't for all of you because I see it's only like a pocket of Leos that I feel that you've had some people that have done a lot of negative talking to you and maybe putting you down or running you down or not believing in you or not believing in what you're doing or being against it or making a joke out of something you're doing or saying. You know, maybe you're taking ballet and you're 50, I'm, good, I'm, I'm 55 this month. Maybe you're start maybe you're my age and you're starting ballet and people are like, you're absolutely out of your mind. Why are you doing that? I mean, it could be anything, but I get some of you Leos are feeling this way because there's been people giving you negative energy, negatives talking, could be acting like what you're doing is silly or, or trying to like say negative things to you. So the next card you have here is the hermit. And the Hermit is Spiritual Guidance and Spiritual Protection. Now, this particular Hermit card looks a lot different than my other decks of tarot. Uh, so this is an unusual looking Hermit. Um, this Hermit is a card to me that symbolizes spiritual guidance, spiritual protection. Your spirit guides are lighting the way and showing you the path to follow. It could be you being the Hermit where you're taking a step back from the situation and getting the lay of the land before you proceed forward. You're going to be very guarded about something you're doing. There's something you're doing that you're not going to want other people to know that you're doing. Maybe because you, in that other card, it came up. Some of you have people mocking you or putting you down or trying to spin negative energy at you. So there may be some things that you're working on behind the scenes uh, that you're keeping secret because you don't want to hear that. Or it could just be like, hey, I'm like burning the midnight oil and I'm working on this project and then I'm going to like, ta-da, release it to the world. It could be for that, those reasons. I feel like that whole thing I just said is justifiable because you have to put yourself, you feel like you have to put yourself in a certain position. So whatever you're doing, if you're doing anything in secret, like maybe you're married. Right? Or seriously coupled with somebody and you don't want them to know what you're doing because maybe you have plans like you're like, you know what? I don't want to stay in this relationship, but I got to set myself up. So when I leave, if I leave it, that I'm not like destitute or I've got to like, you know, put my money in certain things and get it generated in another way. So like if I leave my ex, I've got my, my spouse, my wife, my husband, that I've got money that's generating or maybe in a protective sense where they can't get it. Uh, but doing some things undercover and in secret, but they're saying the guides are very clear about that. There's, you have justifiable reasons for why you're doing it. 
you're going to cast aside any fears or doubts about you or what you're working on doing, thinking, creating, or saying in July. I know that's a big leap. One time, so once in a while they do it. They used to do it a lot when I first came on YouTube. They would predict for like months and months away from what I was reading. Well, you just got one right there. They kind of stopped doing that. Uh, but this month they did it for a couple of the signs and you're getting July. So there's something big. I, some of you may do it in August. But I feel that there's something that you're going to release or do or that's big in July. Maybe you're going to leave your spouse in July. Maybe you're going to start a new web show in July. Maybe you're writing a book behind the scenes and you're going to release it for, you know, put it out on the market for sale in July. Maybe you're making a DVD series. Whatever you're doing, that, that in secret or covertly or that you're really working on really diligently or anything that you have fears or concerns like you're like I don't know I'm worried is this going to be received how's it going to go you're going to get over those fears and you're going to let it out in July so got to think on that Leo your last card here is wow oh gosh you got ten of swords yeah nine of swords and ten of swords um, we'll have to see what's here. Ten of Swords is being stabbed in the back and betrayed by someone or this or others. It could be multiple people, but stabbed in the back and betrayed or someone could be passing away. You know, they're talking about you having like getting insurance or doing things for insurance purposes. Again, I've got the feeling of like protecting your money protecting your finances, protecting your home. Uh, but it feels like because of something you're going to do, like leaving a spouse, leaving a significant other. Um, you know, it's weird. I feel like you have to be careful that you don't get into bitter fights or arguments with people in February. It's actually coming up as fights and arguments here. Um, I get that there's some people going to be giving you a hard time or complaining with you, complaining at you or giving you a hard time. And I hear you say, I do not want to hear it. Um, it actually comes up. This doesn't usually come up for me with this card, but I'm hearing it. Some of you may actually end a relationship in February. I feel for some of you, you can't believe it's it happened it does have you cause for concern. Some of you may lose somebody in a passing. But that's like humming around at the fringe. So uh, I don't know. They're not jumping forward with that strongly. It is possible. They're coming up more with an end of a relationship, something you never saw, you never thought was going to happen, maybe at some point. Uh, you didn't think that. And I get you having arguments, bitter arguments and fights with people in February. So your, your reading's weird. <laughs> uh, you have a seesaw. You have like a wavy reading. There was another sign that had one like that too. And if you watch the other videos, you know, maybe that's going to be your rising sign or your moon sign. I don't remember which one it is because you're the 10th sign I'm reading. Uh, usually you're closer to the beginning, but I go in the order that my guides tell me to do the readings. Whatever sign they tell me to do in the order they do, they tell me is what I do. And you are number 10. There is another sign I read that had that same kind of motion with their cards. I do see really good things coming here for you. I see you making progress with work or business or anything that you're doing. I see you making an important connection with someone that's going to help further what you want to do. I see you getting like recognized or getting some kind of award. You know, you're attending that special party or gathering. Um, I, but I do see some con conflicting things like people around you uh, being like a pain. I, and uh, you may have to bail somebody out with and give them some kind of assistance in some way. And I see some people like maybe being negative about you, putting you down uh, or being judgmental with you. Uh, but I see you working in secret and uh, getting things in alignment. I see you making wills. I see you 
maybe writing books or doing some things you're not talking about. If you're out in the public eye, you may not be saying, hey, guess what? I'm writing a book or, hey, guess what? I'm, you know, writing this fantastic song and I'm going to perform this album, make an album. It, it's not, uh, it's going to be different for all of you. But your reading is a, a little unusual. This Ten of Swords usually means being stabbed in the back and betrayed to me or a death. I do see the potential of the death of somebody, but it's so on the fringe that I don't know that this would be an important, like a, like a significant person in your world. It may be a, somebody that you know that's like uh, a brother-in-law's brother or a sister-in-law's you know, relative or a distant cousin or, a, you know, a great great aunt or it, you know not that you know I it's possible it's possible but it comes up more to me in this ten of swords you having some argument bitter arguments and ending a relationship some of you see because I feel a lot of you Leo's have been put on the front line of some family situation or some circumstance that you don't like and that you're getting pulled in different directions and I get you are fed up and you're tired with it now tired of it some of you this could be happening at work it could be a work situation where you're constantly arguing or there's bitter arguments or resentments at your job they put you on the front line all the time maybe there's backstabbing going on there or people criticizing what you're doing too much and that you you're like I'm done with this I can't hack it and so you sever that work re work ties and relationships you quit that job but for some of you this is happening within family and love relationships and you're gonna say you know what I like I feel like you're gonna feel like I'm tired of being on the front line I'm tired of being on the firing squad I'm tired of dealing with all this stuff and you know what's interesting Leo I know last year in winter and spring maybe even in summer I'm not sure about the summer but I know at some junctures last year I think around this time maybe more in March and April and May I'm sure I was getting for you there was family dissension arguments and a lot of bickering among family it came up a lot it happened over and over again and I thought these Leo's if it's not making sense to them they're gonna be like why is she saying this well again I'm gonna say it here it kind of feels like this is still something or it's resurfacing in some way here that's the feeling I have but I want to say here if this reading is not making sense to you Leo please watch your rising sign or your moon sign because maybe your messages for February are coming to you there so I hope this reading was of help to you I hope it made sense I want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for Google plusing I do appreciate that and please remember to subscribe that way you'll get notified when I post my videos here on YouTube and I have started to add new moon psychic crystal readings full moon psychic crystal readings and full moon and eclipse readings as well so they weren't on my channel before so please be sure to check those out hey Leo if you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal and get additional messages for the you for the month of February 2017 you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for February 2017 crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com, clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page 8. It's a drop down menu. You click on 8 and scroll down the page and there you will see the crystal readings for February you just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo I hope you have a fantastic and fabulous February Leo and know that I wish you many blessings and peace